एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Welcome back to the second part of the video. So in the first part we have learned about complex variable and complex function and we have learned how to separate the real and imaginary part of the complex function in terms of x and y. Welcome to S Chand Academy. I'm Dr. Neelam. For more details you can refer to the book from S Chand Publishing. The details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. So now we will study about the derivative of complex function. Do the derivative derivative of complex function. So first of all we will find out the derivative at some point z0. So derivative of a complex function where complex function is given as fz. So the derivative will be represented as f dash z0 because we would like to find out the derivative of this complex function at the point z0 so this can be written as limit of delta z is tending to 0 f of z plus delta z z0 plus delta z minus f z0 divided by delta z provided the limit exist if the limit exists for this f dash z which is the limit is f z0 plus delta z minus f z0 divided by delta z then we will say that f z is differentiable then f z is said to be is said to be differentiable at differentiable at the point z equals to z0 now we can see this delta z is nothing but z minus z0 so if delta z is tending to 0 that means the point z is approaching to z0 so this f dash z0 can also be written in terms of that limit z is tending to z0 so if this z0 plus delta z can be written as f z minus f z0 divided by z not z minus z not so this is another way of writing down this same expression and if this limit exists we can say that the differentiation uh, the the given uh, complex function that is fz is differentiable at this point this is uh, called as differentiable at this point z equals to z not and if it happens the limit exists throughout the region uh, then we will say that the fz is differentiable over the whole region so this is the derivative of this uh, function fz now it follows the same rule which the real function has the differentiation uh, of real function are having whatever rules uh, f, any real function fx is following the same rule fz is uh, also following except a few we'll see that so first of all let us try to find out the derivative of if z equals to z square using this definition of limit at z equals to z not so let us say that the f dash z not can be found out as limit of delta z is tending to 0 so it is z plus delta z is tending z is z not plus delta z whole square because fz is given as z square so fz not plus delta will be z not plus delta z whole square minus fz not so it will be z not square divided by delta z so if we simplify this expression so this is delta z is tending to 0 so it becomes z not square plus 2 z not delta z plus delta z whole square minus z not square divided by delta z this gets cancelled and this becomes limit of delta z is tending to 0 so it becomes 2 delta z not this delta z gets cancelled and plus delta z so if delta z not 
delta z is tending to 0, then this limit is coming out to be 2z0. And since such a z0 is, this, this expression is true, that is, uh, uh, this limit exists for all such z0, therefore, f dash z can be written as 2z. So, this is the der uh, der derivative of fz over the whole complex region and for where fz is z square then f dash z is coming out to be twice of z. Now if you recall for a real function if fx was x square then f dash x is 2x. So we can say that the differentiation rules are same in complex function which were there in real number. So uh, we can we can compare these things. So that is how we have seen that the derivative of a uh, complex function can be taken and we have already shown that how to find out the derivative of a complex function. Here the difference is that uh, it does not exist always. Now let us take a fun let us take a question f z as z bar and let us find out that uh, whether the limit exists for this or not that is uh, the derivative exists for this or not limit of f z naught plus delta z minus f z divided by delta z. So to find out whether the function is differentiable or not so let us pose this question is this differentiable. Is the function so we will solve this question so we will find out if dash z naught as limit of delta z is tending to 0 z naught plus delta z bar minus z naught bar divided by delta z so it becomes limit of delta z is tending to 0 delta z bar divided by delta z. Now let us try to see what is happening here. Now delta z bar over delta z. We cannot substitute the limit uh, this uh, value of delta z as directly 0 because it is in the denominator. So let us treat, so let us see what is happening here. So it is the meaning of delta z bar is delta x minus iota delta y and it is delta x plus iota delta y. Now if delta x is tending to 0, so first let us say that delta x is tending to 0, then this limit is tending to minus 1, then this limit is tending to minus 1 because this is tending to 0 and this gets cancelled, so limit is it, uh, for minus 1. And if delta y is tending to 0 first, then this limit is tending to plus 1. So we are having two different limits. Therefore, we will say that this limit does not exist. So therefore, we will say that if z is equal to z bar is not differentiable anywhere, is not differentiable anywhere because the limit on the right hand side of the derivative does not exist. So in this part of the video, we have shown that how the derivative of a complex function will be defined, how we can find out the derivative of a complex function using the definition of differentiation and then we have seen that the rules are similar in the function, real function, derivative of real function and derivative of uh, complex function and then we have taken one example fz equal to z bar to show that. It, it is not necessary that for every function this will be differentiable. So fz equals to z bar is not differentiable because it is approaching to different limit by taking the components separately as 0. Because if delta z is tending to 0 that means delta x and delta y both should tend to 0 then only we will say that delta z is tending to 0. In the first part of the video we have learned about the complex variable and the complex function. 
and we have learned how to separate the real and imaginary part of the complex variable and then in the second part of the video we have learned about the derivative of the complex function. For more details please refer to the book from Ishchan Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.